Hello houseplay friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here's the sitch. The audio is not going to be super great, but there's a reason for that. I know you've seen the title of this video, so you already know what's going down. Today, we are going to upgrade my greenhouse because it's too small. I have plants that are just stacked on top of each other like crazy. This knife is really sharp. I'm just like cutting through the cardboard, not even the, the thing. I have a El Choco Red that's about to open up. And it needs space. So, here we are. Here's the thing I measured this out. It should fit where my other one is. It'll just make the walkway to my bed really small. My friend Natalie ordered the same one and said it's massive. So, if it's massive, I have no idea what I'm gonna do because this was an expensive greenhouse. Raven will be our little helper today. I love you. Love you. But basically what I ordered is a greenhouse that you can kind of walk into, but instead of using that walk-in area to actually be able to walk into it, I'm going to put all my big plants on the floor. Wow! Oh! <laughs> Here's our instructions. It's just this. This little thing, which is what I appreciate. The last time I did this, I smashed one of the pieces, and then I had to use a uh, duct tape to keep it together. This is complicated. My dyslexia cannot handle this. Oh boy, this is not good instructions. I'm just gonna be honest. So it wants C and A. Okay, so it wants C and A and four A. And five A. One, two, three. So you want E on the inside? Oh, I understand. Okay, so. Okay, and then we need. Oh, wait, did I do that wrong? This is what I was worried about. Ah, my brain hurts! All of you out there who don't have dyslexia and can just understand their numbers and directions, like, you are so, so lucky and stupid. I understood this, but now I just don't. Okay, I think I figured it out. Okay, we did it. This is so big. Can you see how big that is? All right, so we're at Staples. This is my friend Jess. We have to find one of those rolly chair thingies. The little thingies for the, let's see how far out this is. Okay, that's definitely got us in it. <laughs> I came here the other day, they do have it. I have my tape measure in my bag so that we can measure out exactly what I need. And then if it's a little too big, like I'll just have Chris find a way to cut it. I thought something like this would be good. So we need something that's 60 by, I think 32 but we're gonna probably have to get like a few because this is this like opens up and everything but so that's only 47 this is 45 by 35 so this is like wide enough do you think it would be weird if I just like got two of these and like I don't know maybe that's weird sorry I'm like not being very easy to film I was like, do you want me to do both? <laughs> also, sorry, the audio is probably not super great for all you listeners at home. We don't have a, a lav mic. I kind of just want to like leave them half like this is like really what I kind of want to do. But I don't know, maybe I'll just get two and like overlap them. I'm sorry, Office Depot employees for <laughs> laying all these down. <laughs> okay. Okay. See, this one is 60, but this is like twice the size of what we need. This, this guy. This one. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you can talk. It's okay. okay. <laughs> 60. That's even like too big, so. We're doing math the hard way. I never used to be able to do these uh, math problems in high school, finding like the area of stuff. So I would just find the one thing and I would draw a picture uh, with my ruler and I'd count. 
how many square feet were in that's that area. That's really cute. <laughs> because I, I don't think, I always cut it out of my videos. I've never really said it. I have really bad dyslexia, like really, really bad dyslexia. And not just like saying that to be cute. It's bad. But you are cute. Aww, <laughs> how much are these? Probably like so expensive. See, here's the problem is like, I remember, is it 30 second reference? I think it's 36. Let's just go 36 to be safe. Okay. <laughs> so we could buy two of these. If Chris were here, he'd be like, there's two of them. There's two of them? Ah! The ones that fold in half are $40. Yep. It's the same neon green that's so on the packaging. We might get a bigger bang for our buck. So I made I made my my thingies and my measurements um, two inches bigger than they needed to be, just to account for like me doing it wrong uh, because I do that a lot. So mm -hmm. it would probably be a better deal if we just bought this one because it's extra wide. Like we don't need it to be that wide, but it would definitely fit. Okay, and right? that would because be forty four plus forty four is gonna be like. 95 or yeah. like 92 with this. You got the green ones on the floor. Oh, yeah. Still, right? This yeah. This is less expensive, but only by like a couple bucks. Yes. But but this would be if, flatter. Yes, because you don't have to set them like on top of each other. Yeah. <laughs> Watch two girls do. Uh, <laughs> two two girls bad at math. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad at math, trying to do math. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I went right to it. They have one left. It was fate. It was fate. Okay, it's really heavy. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh boy. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, it's, it is gonna be a little bit shorter. We look like freaks. It's okay. It's almost 60. Like, I don't want the water to like leak out, you know? Yeah. Do I look like a with this or do I look like a <laughs> It's definitely a thumbnail material. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of feel like <laughs> right now. I'm like, look at me, I'm doing house not housework um what is it called renovation or issue <laughs> handy it's like <laughs> okay <laughs> sick we're gonna get this here so you guys can see it at home oh it's so heavy jessica <laughs> censored anything could be behind here <laughs> i think we can fold it in half oh that's not gonna That is very hard. Do you want my help? <laughs> it's a taco. <laughs> we should probably put the video. Okay. I don't know what to do with this, so I'm just gonna set it over here. Do you want my help putting them up? I think I'll be good. Okay. I don't want to miss all this exciting, riveting content. People like vlogs, and they've been wanting me to do more of them. So, here you guys go. Here it is for you, anyways. They haven't kicked us out. I brought a whole shocked myself. <laughs> I brought a whole camera in here and everything and they're just like, like they all stared when we walked in. They know we have a camera. We could be doing anything with this camera. We could be finding, I'm like out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how bad this looks. <laughs> <laughs> My nose is like <laughs> 10 times. <laughs> Isn't it so funny? <laughs> Are you just thinking why on earth would yeah, you voluntarily do that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel like I've gained 10, 10 pounds of muscle in the last minute because these aren't heavy anymore. See, it's easy. <laughs> oh, you have my purse. Yeah, I grabbed it. Oh, thank it. you, friend. Let's go. Not sponsored. Look at these. They're actually really cute, but like kind of weird at the same time. I need a new one. I used to have this one, but all the shiny stuff came off. <laughs> Is this the vlog content you guys want? <laughs> wow, I almost totally forgot that we needed to get my glasses. We do need to get your glasses. Get my glasses. Should I get one to match my glasses? No, we're not spending twenty dollars on a pop socket. We're just. <laughs> I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, so I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> we go 
to that Home Depot? If you want to. Let's go into the Home Depot. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to empty my greenhouse. I have everything else. We just need to take everything out of the greenhouse so I can take it out of here. I'm gonna use this box to put the plants on, at least some of them. So here's the situation. I thought I was recording myself putting that on, but I wasn't. So now it's just kind of there. And here's how big it is. I can put my arms out, touch both sides. Okay, so here is the greenhouse. It fits really well. So I have this spot right here. It's about a foot-ish. Um, I don't know if you can see it here. Let me show you. Raven, do not touch my plants. So down here you can see we have a little bit of a space that comes out, which I think will be good since I'll be going in there a lot. It looks so out of place, but I, I can't not have this because it needs, some of my plants are turning yellow, like they need the greenhouse. Also, it just really looks like, it's so crazy, the wide angle lenses always make me feel insecure. I'm just nervous about how it's going to get light because it's not clear. So I guess we'll figure that out. Big plants are gonna go on the floor. That's why I wanted a walk-in one, was because I want to be able to grow my plants without needing to cut them. Oh, this is so fun! I love this. So if you want shelves and your other ones don't work, just bend them to fit. <laughs> I need to start putting moss around my anthuriums because they're getting so big that they're kind of just like going flaccid. And yes, that's really the only right word to use. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna like trim down my uh, big Aspicoense or if I'm gonna let it grow. Because I really wanna trim it so I can give you guys some pieces. Because a lot of you want that plant, but it's hard to find and I have it. So, but the problem is, is that like, I don't wanna cut my plant. So that's pretty much everything. This is going to make it so much easier to take care of my plants. Wow, it's pretty insane. It's like you have another house inside of your small house. I know. So I'm gonna make a couple more changes, but I wanted to just run you guys through what it looks like right now. So I have a mat, there's a mat right here. You can kind of see it, the line. This is my favorite row, I think. So nice. Okay, so here is our situation. So humidity is already going up. It's already 60% here and this thing's open still. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my house plants now. So some of them are not in good shape. That's because they really needed to be in here and I did not have enough money to order this thing for myself. Finally have a place for all of my plants. And so now I'm going to show you all of my rarest house plants. 
um, except for the ones that need cold and not hot. So here, let's do it over here. So we have a couple sad anthuriums. That's only, here, let's get some better light happening. Got a couple sad anthuriums, but that's only because they need some moss to like hold them up. They're all fine. They just literally need moss. So I have my Ace of Spades, which is super awesome and beautiful. It gets an iridescent blue, which uh, we love. We have my Anthurium Crystallinum, which is just, I mean, as beautiful as literally ever. My Forgetii, which took a tumble earlier, but she's okay. I would cry if she wasn't. Down here in this little cup behind my Forgetii leaf, we have my Alocasia Silver Dragon Bulbs that are kind of kind of happening. We have my Begonia Tiger, which I accidentally misidentified in a video as Tiger Kitten or Kit Kat, I can't remember, but it is just Tiger. Here we have a Monstera Deliciosa Albo. This is the only surviving stem right here from the other plant died and kicked the bucket. So I'm really happy it's putting out a leaf. I hope it's still gonna be variegated, but I'm just happy that it's still alive because that was like my favorite plant. Then we have my Philodendron Pink Princess. My other Philodendron Pink Princess, it's much less impressive as you can see. There's literally like leaf burn on it and yeah, but this one's doing really great and it's so pretty. Back here we have a Begonia Rex Hybrid I got from Home Depot. I love it so much. Uh, it reminds me of Begonia Julau, which I'll show you in a little bit. Then we have my Philodendron White Princess, which is probably one of my favorite plants that I own. And then this is an Anthurium Waraquianum. I took this in as a rehab during the shipping process. It lost almost its whole leaf. I think it will lose the rest of its leaf, but that's okay. We'll get it to put out any leaf. Over here on the top shelf, we have Anthurium Vitarfolium which is birthing us a child, which is so beautiful. I'm so excited. I've had this plant for so long and we've never seen a new leaf, so I'm really excited to see what it gives us. Then we have my Anthurium moraquianum, which it really needs a pillow or something to hold it up because it's kind of starting to really lean. So I'm gonna get it some moss. All my Anthuriums really need moss. Then we have my Hoya Callistophylla. Give it some better light so you can see. Beautiful, like deep blue veining. I love it, I can't wait to see it grow someday. Then we have my Begonia U667, which has put in two new leaves, which is great. And then my Monstera Deliciosa Albo Variegata, and my Monstera Borzigiana Albo Variegata, which since the last time you've seen it has given us a new leaf. Also, I put Kiki's paste on it, and we've got a nub here. It's so hard to see, come on focus, please. There we go, yeah, so we, we do have a really sizable nub right there. Um, you can kind of see it sticking out a little bit. Another nub that I put Kiki based on at the very bottom down there. And then we have a nub over here that isn't doing anything, but we are getting two new ones. So down here we have my philodendron. Give us some, some light. This is my philodendron El Choco Red. I'm very excited to meet uh, this child and welcome her into the world. She's very, very big. And I just, I can't wait. Look at that petiole, can you see? How like textured that is? I think it's so exciting. Ah, I'm so excited, okay. Then we have my Syngonium Wendlandii, which is giving us a new leaf right there. Oh, right there, come on. This one right here. Then we have my baby Poenses. So here's one of them. It's very shiny. It's shinier than I've seen before. And then also this one, which we're currently getting a new leaf on right now. So that's super fun. Then back here, we have uh, my Hoya EP07 or six, I think, which is a fuzzy Hoya. And then I was trying to root this, but it kind of just died. Then in here, we have my recovering terrarium aeroids. My terrarium honestly went to crap, so all of the things that are in here and here, and then my Monstera dubia did die, so um, I'm not doing a terrarium anymore, which sucks because it was so pretty, but everything's like trying to recover now, so. Then we have my Burl Marks Fantasy, which I'm going to pot up probably this week. Then we have my Shining Star Philodendron Varicosum, putting out two leaves right now, and then it just put out these two as well, and it's just so beautiful. That's probably like one of my favorite plants I own. Then we have my Begonia Berkeleyi which as you can see is just like sparkling silver. That is so pretty. 
Back here, we have a philodendron varicosum that is sad. It's gonna be totally fine, it's just I forgot, it was in a corner somewhere, and I forgot to water it. It's been watered, and now we're gonna wait for it to perk back up. Here we have my Monst my Monstera cupria, wow. This is my Alocasia cupria. I'm excited that this thing will get really good light now, and it won't bend down like that. It's only bending down because it's trying to get at the light where it was before. And then we have my Monstera adansonii, which just popped out that brand new beautiful leaf, so. Right here, we have my Philodendron Milano Chrysum, which is really beautiful. I am going to be chopping this to uh, sell to some people on my Etsy shop, but it's growing so fast, so I'm kind of just letting it do its thing for the most part, but I mean, look at that. So pretty. This beautiful plant right here with all these long leaves, this is my Philodendron Atabapoensi, and look at that. It's very tall, and the arrow roots this thing puts out are just so beautiful. Raven is in the box. Raven, when did you get in there? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Back here we have another Atiba Poency. That one was too close to this thing, and it got way too humid in here, and the leaf just melted, so. Then down here we have some cuttings of some plants. So my begonias started to kind of go south, so I took a bunch of cuttings, and if my plants end up actually recovering, then I'll just sell these, but um, this is my Hoya U66, wow, my begonia U667 that's rooting in here. Then we have my Hoya Sunrise and my silvery ann cuttings that are rooting. Back here we have some, these are billy tie cuttings, and then some painted lady cuttings, and begonia burkillii cuttings. Over here we have my friend Chloe's Vichii. The person who was sending it to her couldn't get a hold of her to find out where she lived, so they just sent it to my P.O. box. So Chloe's picking that up tomorrow. Then we have some Monstera Deliciosa cuttings that, that are for someone, and then Monstera Dandeliana cuttings who are also for someone. Then we have my Billy Tie. This is my personal Billy Tie plant. I love it so much. Um, I like how it does this twisty thing. Then we have my uh, Philodendron Linnaei, and I understand, yes, there is a lot of water down here. I'm bottom watering this plant right now, so just leave me alone. But it's beautiful. It's very, very immature right now, so it will start to come in with bigger leaves that are actually the shape of the plant soon. Right here we have my uh, Billy Tie cuttings I'm rooting from my Etsy shop. A couple of these leaves are biting the dust, of course, but that's just because there's no root system to support all the extra leaves. But it's rooting very nicely, so I'm excited about that. Then right here we have my Anthurium, I think it's Pendulifolium. Might not be, might be something something that starts with a P. I, f I forgot about this plant for a while, so I didn't water it for a long time. But now we're okay. We're moving forward with our lives together. Then back here, we have my two, uh, my greenhouse Syngonium albopodophyllums. It doesn't seem like no matter what I do, they, they just keep losing leaves. And I don't, I don't understand why. But even the plants out in the living room are like always losing their leaves. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, but they lose leaves everywhere, so. Then down here we have some Squammy Ferrum cuttings I'm rooting from my Etsy shop, some Begonia Maculata Whitey Eye cuttings. Uh, these are from my original plant, and it died. So I was like, well, I might as well make some cuttings. Then we have my Philodendron Brantianum, my Monstera Siltipicana in this little cup right here. This is Brantianum and this is Siltipicana. That's the last remaining piece of Siltipicana I actually have. Then we have another rooting out of a Poensi. Two more rooting Billy Ties in the back. Those are actually reserved for two people. And then a bunch of Heckin Mikens cuttings. If we get into this cloche right here, let's move everything. This right here is all of my begonias that need special attention. So my begonia curtisii right here, which doesn't look too spectacular because there's really low lighting, um, this thing bit the dust right after shipping. So I was able to stabilize it. It's growing like that right now. Um, everyone else I know who's also ordered curtisii, the same thing happens. So I think we'll just wait it out. <laughs> then down here we have my begonia milano bolata who did have some bacteria, but since I removed it, it has not spread at all. So I think we're doing good. Then we have my begonia julao, which was a gift to me from the owner of Botanica's Anya, and my Begonia Darth Vidariana, and then my Begonia Jehoiai, which that is a replacement for the first plant. The first plant I got bit the dust 
and just melted and deteriorated into absolutely nothing. So she sent a replacement and these are my friends who live in here. So they're super cute. And that's usually at 100%. I do need to water those though, so I will leave that open. Yeah. Oh, check out this aerial root that came out since this thing's been in the greenhouse. That is so crazy. Oh, this plant took a spill earlier. It fell off of my bed. This is my Warraquanum. They're, to they're both totally okay. They're fine. They just, like, I don't know how they're fine, but they're fine. So, um, yeah, this and my Forgetty Eye took a tumble. So, I have to repot this. These are still alive. They're doing okay. They're growing great, but I do have to repot them. So, that's why you didn't see me talk about it in the tour. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this houseplant video. Please make sure that you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And please just kind of, like, watch all my videos. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you'd like to see more of. Thanks for watching this incredibly, incredibly long video. I understand that this video is very long. Um, we've been doing this, I think it's, it's 8.04 right now, and I started doing this at 12, so yeah, I'm gonna go get ramen, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please, uh, if I missed any plants or you don't see any plants, just let me know. Also, if you guys aren't using Newt, you can type in your search bar, buynewt.com forward slash Ashley with a lowercase a, and if you use that link to go to the website and buy the product, my channel does get a small profit and it helps support me make these videos because I would love for this to become my full-time job, but it is not right now. So if you guys want to support me, you can do so by buying Newt with my link, which is again buynewt.com forward slash Ashley with a lowercase a. It is spring. A bunch of new stuff is going to start happening. Your plants are going to want to be fertilized. And you know, you might as well just try Newt. I, oh, it's the only fertilizer I've ever used and it's the only fertilizer I ever will use because it actually works. So why on earth? would I try other fertilizer when this works so well. Try Newt by Newt.com forward slash Ashley. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next house paint video. Bye.